yourself right. up. So yeah, because if you're just riding in the car a lot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Can... Oh yeah. Yeah, because that's one of the things that would keep us from being missionaries. Is yeah. We both have so many health problems that we rely on our yeah. Yeah. health insurance. I have cancer. Oh. I have multiple myeloma, so nothing stops me. So Satan comes to rob, kill, and destroy, but God comes to give life abundantly. So I know, and all things work for good according to those who love the Lord. So I'm living proof that we're, we're all to be witnesses no matter what, no matter what. So that's why I'm out here riding my bike and doing whatever I can to be healthy. To be healthy. And the Lord... So I'm at the Gainesville Hawthorne State Trail where I always have encounters. And you know what just happened? <laughs> and I'll show you a little bit of footage. Look at how beautiful those trees are. There's a couple over there who have a, um, a recumbent. See, he's riding, he's riding around and the wife is there. So I just went in my car <laughs> And I grabbed some books and put them in my backpack. And then I said, Lord, I need to be used today. So use me. And as soon as I got out of the car, there they were. Encounter on the Hawthorne State Trail. They are actually believers. They were stunned that I was doing missionary work. They couldn't understand the nature of my work in a way. Because they're like, they're like, don't you have any, any like, do you work with a church? Or who do you work for? And... And they said they wanted to be a mission. They wanted to do missionary work, but it was so expensive. I don't know why it's expensive. They wanted to go to Ecuador, but you have to have a lot of money. And they said, so we we just don't do any missionary work. And I said, I said, well, but we're all called to be witnesses. And you know, I'm saying this in a very, you know, I'm not like calling them out. But I said, you know, we are all called to be witnesses. And I said, I'm sure you have a story about God. I'm sure you have a story about how you got saved. I'm sure you have a story about how you were on your knees and the Lord brought you through. And they're like, yeah, you're right. And I said, you know, our churches are called to make disciples. That's the Great Commission. And we, 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 he conquered them by the power of the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. So you have a testimony to give. And, that's all, and you're, you can be a missionary. That's it. It's very easy. And I said, you know what? It's free. And they, they said, yeah, you're right. You're right. So I gave them a Steps to Christ. And I said, this is like an a, um, a intro to who Jesus is. And they said, oh, wow, we know somebody. Her name is Chloe. She doesn't know the Lord. And, you know, she's not well educated, but she, wa she, she really wants to know the Lord. And I said, well, there's the book. Perfect. So the first book that I grabbed, the Lord already had blessed. I prayed over it. And then I gave them the Desire of Ages. I said, have you guys watched The Chosen? They said, oh, yeah, we watched it. I said, this is the book that that, that um, series is based on. Uh, the the screenwriter read this book and he uses this book for um, the chosen and they're like oh wow so they got two books for me and uh, she was so wonderful she gave me a five dollar donation she said well now I feel bad I want to give you more I said I said no 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 that's not what it's about I said I get the books donated by various individuals a, a church and you know some other people and so I always have books and uh, so I said that's the most important thing. So there you go, my first encounter.